Coin Traders, what is going on? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at the graph, GRT on that ticker. Very, very, very nice day that just closed. Obviously, a lot of retracement now on us, which is to be expected after a huge, big rally, especially ever since we have been popping out of coming out of the low that we did find towards the middle of October on the 19th when we did bottom out. And now, if you have been following the channel for a little bit or over on Twitter or X at coin underscore trades is the handle. We were talking about a longer term falling wedge pattern for the graph GRT token. So as we can see, we were looking at a very big long falling wedge ever since this initial pump back at the start of February. So just a very, very long period of a falling wedge, which did mean a, a big explosive breakout was coming. As we can see, just got confirmed, and now we are basically about 100% in just a little over a couple of weeks here. Now, one of the things about GRT2 is that the graph on their Twitter or their X did have a post about marking their calendars November 7th, so that is coming up tomorrow, and we are supposed to be anticipating a new big announcement. So we do have a lot of hype buying coming in prior to that, so that's one of the big reasons why we did have such an explosive pump and we did have the graph GRT outperforming a lot of the rest of the crypto space, which was a little bit more steady, still very constant, nice gains for the rest of the altcoin space. Yet, meanwhile, if we go ahead and take a look over at Bitcoin, you can see that we are still in a little bit of this uptrend formation. But just like we have seen before many times on these type of moves, we can still rally, maintain an uptrend formation, then ultimately we do pull back. So we do see this several times and that even though we sometimes might not necessarily pull back immediately. We still have an overall general price trend to the upside before finally pulling back. So we do see this time and time again, and especially right now. So we have these nice, big, massive pumps, and then it's kind of a lot of uncertainty what's going to happen. And that kind of is what leads to a lot of these periods where ultimately I do expect a longer term pullback and retracement, probably down to the $32,000 level, because from right now, it's not necessarily that likely that we just see another big leg of upside. And especially looking at the daily RSI, you can see that we have been extremely overbought lately, just kind of like we were coming off of the start of the year. Similar, very similar type pattern, big move to the upside, a little period of consolidation, allowing this RSI to cool off before ultimately one little pump and then a pullback and retracement. So I do think that is something that we could potentially be looking at right now. Or we could be pulling back, retracing, still seeing a little bit of upside gains before finally finding this pump and pulling back. And so how does this all play out with GRT, the graph? Well, essentially, we know that we are already starting to peak out with a lot of the rest of the cryptos right now. And though we could still go higher, we do still have to anticipate the very likely potential of a rollover and actually pull back to test some of these higher support levels. So what this means for GRT is that essentially, if we go ahead and talk about this explosive move, well, we do know that a lot of buying the hype is going to happen. So we could potentially anticipate a much greater sell off on top of what we have seen so far. And honestly, every single time we have seen basically the similar setup where we do get extremely huge pumps, extremely huge pumps, extremely huge pumps, we do see pretty quick retracements on all of this price action. So even back during the move after the summer, where we actually had a very nice rally to the upside, pretty quick retracement and pullback over the next few days. So especially since looking at volumes here, what we can see, let's go ahead and turn on volume, is that we have been seeing a very nice increasing bullish volume coming in, but we have seen just a complete topping volume indicator coming in, especially with the candle being about over 20% on the day. So one of the things about this is that the quicker we actually retrace from setting a top, the more likely it is that we're just going to be pulling back over the next several days, because typically what we like to see after these big moves is the candles more or less to be very closely centered around the top, which essentially allows for the following candles to kind of provide another continuation follow on, or at least provide a little bit more longer term opportunity to enter either a pennant type consolidation format. Or if that doesn't end up playing out, then we could also be looking at a potential for a type of bull flag. But especially we know that with such a big explosive move over a couple of weeks that this is typically not sustainable without a lot, a lot, a lot of news driven catalysts. And obviously with the big announcement over here on Twitter, we do have a lot of anticipation and excitement coming in for what's anticipated for the graph right now. And especially combined with a lot of solid price action, that's the biggest reason that we have been getting outperformance of the market right now. But so even if we flip over into the weekly chart, for example, you can still see that we're still looking extremely good because this is the first time that we've actually seen the weekly chart crossing bullish on top of the 50 period EMA. So although we did just start the candle yesterday and we still have 
just under six days left to close. If the bulls can, in fact, maintain a close on top of this 50 period exponential moving average, that'll be the first time we've pretty much seen this ever since starting the 50 period EMA back in November of 21. So that would be a very good sign, pretty much confirming, especially now if we go ahead and look close at the rest of the exponential moving averages, that we are about to see a very nice intersection and cross between the 12 period and the 26 period exponential moving averages. So we've really only seen this happen one other time, and that was coming off the start of the year. But also with that, we had the 12 and 26 not get anywhere close. So we still had a very big gap, which now we are actually starting to close, which is a very nice bottoming signal to let us know that a lot of upside potential would be coming in the event we do find that nice bullish flip on the exponential moving averages. In addition, if we actually look at the weekly candle volume that just closed, we're looking at 312.286 million for this candle, which found very nice support at the top of 26, yet finding resistance on top below the 50 period EMA. But comparing volumes to what we see, we actually haven't seen this much bullish volume coming in since the week of 13 March in the candle that actually provided a little bit of reprieve on top of the 12 and 26s. But obviously, all of that was dwarfed by the initial candle that we found coming off of the start of the year rally. But with all of that said, if we actually go ahead and pull up technical indicators, if we're looking at the RSI relative strength index right now, we are topping current level is about 64.75. So if we actually go ahead and zoom out, you can see that this is the highest that the RSI has been ever since basically coming off of the all time high when we started the RSI. So we could potentially be looking at all time highs for the weekly RSI coming in. And so typically what this means is that especially coming off of a bear market, we know that this isn't capable just yet of actually running up and continuously extending. So that's going to be a much better sign of a reversal coming when we do start to see the longer term charts get to the levels of being overbought. Typically, though, when we do see strong moves to the upside, we do rely on the shorter term chart trends for RSI first, because we do know that these longer term weekly RSIs can just actually continuously get stronger and stronger and stronger above the 70 line, pushing them into farther and farther over bot levels. Now, while we're looking at this weekly chart, I want to talk about some very important key support and resistance levels, especially since we are getting this nice upside move. So I'm going to actually go ahead and turn off the exponential moving averages since we already talked about those first. And first, very key and important level for weekly resistance is coming up overhead at 16.86 cents. Obviously, we haven't seen the price get anywhere close to that just yet, so we have retraced before, but that is going to be our strong top side resistance point. And looking left, very big point of resistance coming off of the start of the year rally. So for a close on the weekly, that is what we're going to expect to actually be one of the levels that does tend to hold up in the event that we do see continuous upside volume. A very nice strong announcement out of the graph and a price action rally keeping on to the upside. But next level on top, which actually aligns with what we're currently seeing right now, 15.61, looking left, big point of resistance, looking left farther, two big points of support as well as resistance. So a very relevant line as well, which is coming in at that line for 15.61. Next relevant line for the close is going to be pretty much right around what we're seeing for current price levels, pretty much right around the low 14 cent level, which we know was a big point that saw the rally and the bears push prices back down with the bulls unable to break this level, especially after losing it on the close back on the 17th of April candle. So looking left again, big point of support before flipping it back into very big point of resistance. So especially since we're at right this level right now on the current weekly candle, this is one of the signs that we're going to be looking for on the current to see whether or not we can cross and maintain a close on top of 1406. Now supports to the downside, though, first big one's going to be at 1263. So in the event we do start to pull back a little bit more, we will be looking to maintain a close on top of that. Now it is potential that we could actually see prices slipping below it in the short term. And then we would love to see a lower shadow with the bulls buying up that dip to make sure that this weekly candle does close on top of 1263. Thankfully, though, plenty of nice, strong support points below coming in at 1263. I'm sorry, coming in at 1192 and then also right below that at 1156. Should we see anything below that come in, then we would be looking down to a low side support level of about 942 or 9.42 cents. And so we know that this is a big point of resistance as well as support looking left support, big point of support as well. So the good thing about this, though, is that even if we do start to see a pullback over the coming weeks, this would actually be a very nice level to be able to back test this trend line and actually be able to find support on top of that, 
because that would still put us very nicely shaping up to maintain this higher low on top of a low of 7.65 cents. So if we actually look at a Fibonacci level for a retracement though, then essentially we would be looking at pulling back, trying to maintain strong support between the 61.8 and 50% retracements, because that is the point in which we would actually align with a lot of these previous points of resistance as well as the previous points of support. Additionally, down to the 61.8 or the, or excuse me, the 50% retracement level, that would be an ideal scenario to help confirm the strength of this move, especially if we do enter a little bit more of weekly consolidation before pushing back to the upside, breaking a lot of the resistance points that we just talked about. Now, do you want to look at the two day chart right now? Pull up to RSI again as well, because you can see every single time we do have these type of moves, very quick spikes on the RSI, which do lead to pretty quick retracements and very substantial retracement candles on this two day chart. So on the current, especially since we are pulling back, very big retracement as well. So expecting this to play out a little bit more. So zooming out, we can see that we've actually only got to this level one other time, and that was coming right off the launch back in February of 2021, when we did have GRT come in at our all time high. So do want to flip over into the 15 minute chart since we are kind of more on the shorter term chart side right now for crypto. And especially because I do want to talk about just the sell off that we are seeing for GRT after coming in at this high. So you might have heard these, the phrase, take the stairs up and the elevator down. That's pretty much what we're seeing. And the thing about this is that you can see in just two of these 15 minute candles, we wiped out essentially a big chunk of the gains. So if we actually go ahead and look at the amount of candles that we did knock out on this quick little short flush, we were actually looking at about 14 candles worth of on this 15 minute chart here. So just to be able to see that much of a flush wiping out 14 candles of strong upside and keep in mind too, this is when we were actually getting some of the strongest bull volume that we have seen as we did enter the final leg of upside. So such a quick flush, especially on decreasing bearish volume has helped signal that this is the top that is in for the shorter term. And now we're going to look to establish a support and consolidation on some of the longer term charts. So that is the expectation right now. So probably not too much exciting unless this announcement does end up favoring a very nice, strong bullish catalyst for buying. But I do think a lot of the upside and hype has come in and probably will be a sell the news type of event coming in tomorrow. And we probably will see a substantial sell off and flush once the announcement is actually made, unless it actually is a extremely bullish announcement like some people could be potentially anticipating, in which case. Once that announcement actually hits, then I would expect a very another strong move of upside. But uh, yeah, for now, that's not the expectation and we will see it come tomorrow. We'll definitely love to hear everyone's thoughts and predictions down in the comment sections below and get back to you all there. But otherwise, that actually is going to go ahead and wrap up our discussion and analysis for the GRT right now, the graph token. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe if you have not done so just yet. Do appreciate all the continued love and support as always it does mean so much. Stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you back in the next video.